guys, Chicken Buddy Studios here, and welcome back to another review. This review is of Kingdom Optimus Primal, and let's start off with the Kingdom card, which is Optimus Prime, which I'm very happy about. So, I can't really see that because it's like that, I don't know why, but yeah, so it's Optimus Prime, and then you tear away the sticker and you see a dead Optimus Prime. I'm just gonna put this to the side. And next we're gonna take some look at the packaging. Monkey, robot, words, box art, more box art, viewing station, and then the Earth, or the Kingdom side art. And the Maximal symbol on top. And we're gonna put this to the side as well. And here we have Kingdom Optimus Primal. He is a quite small figure, as you can see him next to Black Arachnia. The only other kingdom I have. I plan to get Megatron next month, so yeah, stay tuned for that review. And let's take his swords off. We'll get into more about those later. So yeah, here is Kingdom Optimus Primal. I've had him for a few hours now, and I gotta say, I really, really, really like him. There's this one joint I'll get into more later about that I really hate about it. It scares the crap out of me. But let's get into articulation. Articulation wise, he can move his head side to side and down and up, that's pretty much it. And he can kind of turn it actually. Then he has 360 and he can go out and he has a joint right there. He has a joint right there. Swivel joint right there and then opening and closing hand, which is a very nice feature if I do say so. Ooh, and his hand is turned completely around. So yeah, he also has joint right there, um, joint right there, and a little bit of ankle tilt. Not much, but a little bit. Still pretty cool. So let's get him into his other monkey mode. All you have to do is stand him up like this, bring his head down, bring his arms down, twist his arms to this, or twist his wrist to the side. And then what you want to do is gonna bring this up completely without the peg, or with the peg part. And then just kind of push and angle it like so. Same on the other side. Kind of hard to describe what I'm doing. And there you have a standing monkey. I know he's not a monkey, but I'm still going to say it because monkey. And it's the same articulation, pretty much. Not much has changed, so yeah. He can also reach behind him and some, fling some poo at you. That's an inside joke with some friends. But yeah, so there's Kingdom Optimus Primal. He has lots of furry details. So yeah. Let's transform him. So to start transformation, what you want to do is just bring the leg down like that, and then just swing it around and it will snap into place. And then you can bring the foot out and push this down a little bit to hear snap, like that. Oh, also there's rotation right there. Not much, but there's something. So yeah, same thing, bring the foot down, wait till you hear snap. And then bring this all the way up and bring this all the way down. And then you can bring this up and then flip it over here. Bring these side panels up. And there you are half done a monkey. So then this is the joint I hate the most because you gotta like get your fingers in there and kind of pull backwards. 
I hate this so much because it scares the crap out of me. But it's worse when it's in monkey or when it's in robot mode. So pretty much what you want to do is pull the back, push the, bring this out, bring this up, twist it, fold it in. And then we're gonna bring the guns out. You don't have to though. So you kind of just gotta like, get your finger in there and bring it up. And on the other side, bring it up. I'm gonna bring them out. So yeah, and then you wanna turn this around and then just push it in. Make sure his head's straight. Bring the arms out and the butterfly joint, or I don't know what joints they're called, but yeah. Oh, and this is also scares me, pushing it in. Oh, right. It's because I forgot to do this. Flip that out. So it doesn't look like monkey chest, it looks like robot chest. And then you can just easily push this in. Bring his arms back. And then what you want to do is bring this up, twist it, and then you can just peg it in up there. Twist this around. Kind of get in there, and there you go. This also is a blast effect port, so you can have his prime jets and he can be flying. I don't have any prime jet or blast effects on me right now, but yeah. So yeah, he does gain a little bit more um, movement in robot mode. We'll go over to that right now. He can do, he can look down and up a little bit. 360 right there. This does move a lot. It, I wish it latched into place. It's probably just mine though. So you have the joints right there still. 360 can go out, up, swivel there. And then if you hold that, oh, I thought you had swivel there. Nope, well, no wrong. You opening fingers, twisting palms, rotating right waist. Um, out that far, back that far, and forward that far. You will scrape some paint. I have been lucky enough not to. So yeah, be careful. Also, you do gain much more foot movement. You can go to the side a little bit more. And actually, no, you actually lose some because you don't, can't move forward and backwards. But yeah. So let's get on to accessories he, that he has. Actually, no, we're going to focus on the arm cannons. So, what you want to do, get in his arm, right there, push, a little bit, just get it started, then you can get your fingers in there, and pull it out. Again, blast effects, blast effects, and monkey with guns. You can also have these out in monkey mode, it doesn't matter. I guess I'm going to call it monkey mode, poop on people who don't want it to be called that. So yeah, there's Optimus Primal with his arm cannons. I'm just gonna push those back in for now. All you have to do is just straighten them out and just push. And then we'll bring these in. And yeah, there's his weapons. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.